Welcome everybody to ABC Interactive English. Hi everybody, that's Winnie, and that is Shane. And today we are talking about Coachella. Ooh, what is that? Well, it's this big festival, a music festival, really. Have you ever been to like a like a concert? Before? I have. Yes. So a concert is a great place to go listen to your favorite band or singer. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been to a concert? Of course, I've been. I've been to many concerts. Yes. But have you ever been to a festival? Right. So what? Like a music festival. So what's the difference between a concert and a music festival? Well, if you go to a music festival, there's going to be many different bands or singers. Oh, so it's not just one performing. Got it. And Usually, this is more than even one day.、Mm. It's several days. Okay. So it's not just one performance; it's lots of performances. In that case, I have I have been to a jazz festival.、Ooh. So you're right. There wasn't. It wasn't just one musician. It was a bunch. Okay. Yeah. Right. So have you ever been to a music festival? I have been to several. Music festivals.、Wow. I've never been to this huge one that we're going to talk about, Coachella.、Mm. But I've been to some smaller, like、uh, went to a rock music festival,、uh, went to a hip hop music festival,、wow. and I've been to、um, I've been to a jazz music festival.、Wow. So you you like a lot of genres, a lot of styles of music. I do like a lot of. It depends on your mood, mood、yeah. right?、You、well,、know? that makes me really excited to get into this topic, which is Coachella is the place to be, part one. Okay, let's get into it. Do you like looking at art and listening to music? If you do, then there's one place to do both. That's Coachella. It's short for the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. Coachella takes place every year in Indio, California. It has live music on back-to-back three-day weekends in April. What's more, it attracts people from all over the world. So we are back with Coachella is the place to be to part be. one. Okay, so let's start this adventure.、Mm. Do you like looking at art and listening to music? Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Come on.、Right. If you do, then there's one place to do both. Let's go. Let's go. So that's Coachella. It's short for the Coachella Valley Music and Arts. Festival. So we have a word in there, okay? Valley. It's a noun, and it is the lower land that is between hills and mountains. So if a mountain is like that, right, and, and then there's another, another mountain, and another mountain yeah. over here. Yeah, we're talking. It's kind of like a bowl. Kind it's of, kind of like、right? a bowl. Yeah. So it's that bottom part between the mountains and the hills. Taipei、type, is like a big valley. Yeah, actually. Good comparison,、right. yeah, like a large valley.、Yeah. So, for example, Shane is a valley girl. Oh my God, I'm not a valley girl. Okay. So, what does it mean to be a valley girl? So, Shane is from California, and they have a lot of valleys. Okay, and typically, when someone is from California, they can be called a valley girl. I am from the original. Valley, where they get this expression, Valley Girl. It's the San Fernando Valley.、Mm -hmm. I grew up in the Valley of all valleys. That's right. So Shane is a Valley Girl. A valley Boy. Okay. Okay. I'll give it to you. Okay. We have another vocabulary word, festival, which we kind of already defined. Kind of touched on. Yeah. During the、uh, introduction, so it's a series of performances of music, plays,、mm. films, etc. So when we were talking in the introduction, we were saying music festival. Yeah. But you can have a film festival or plays or lots of different kinds of performances, right?、Yeah. So it's usually organized in the same place. 
in it's once a year,、mm, yeah. usually. Yeah. So, for example, I want to attend the big festival in Brazil called Carnival. Carnival. That's a that's a very beautiful, lively example of a festival. One of the most famous festivals in the world. Right, because as we said, it's very different from a concert. Right, a concert is. One night, maybe two or three hours, but a festival could span maybe two, three weekends, and you have so many different acts. So, continuing、yes. on, Coachella takes place every year in Indio, California. I'm from California,、yeah. but I've never been to Coachella.、Oh. It has live music on back-to-back three-day weekends. In April, right? So just like we were saying, very different from a concert, right? Because for Coachella, it there are so many artists that need to go on the stage, and of course, it's not just going to happen in an hour. Now, so this is a little bit confusing.、Mm. Though it has live music on back to back. <laughs> Three day weekends, right? In April. Okay, so let's start. There's a three day weekend, right? And then there's a, the next three day weekend, right? So, they, for example, are, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right. That's the first week of April, right? And then the next weekend, it's the same thing. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So they're back to back, right? And then the next one, right? So it's like. Three day weekend. Then the next one is a three day weekend again. So for two weekends, you can expect, you know, this Coachella festival to happen. So here you could say two three day weekends in a row. Exactly. As well. Yes.、Right? And we know it's consecutive. It's back to back. So this week it's going to happen, and the next week it's also going to happen.、Mm. Okay. So we have another vocabulary word: live, live. So. Live is an adjective. It means given, or made, or performed when people are watching in person. Right. 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 So, in other words, this thing is not recorded. Well, some people refer to lives like on a phone, and you are broadcasting on Facebook Live. Right. Right. But that's this true. Is very But、different. that means that you're not watching. A recording, yes, something that was recorded earlier.、Right. You're watching it in, as it happens in real time.、Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, for example, my favorite restaurant has live music every Saturday night. Oh, I love that! Isn't that great? There's nothing like live music. At it really a is. Yeah, it really is different. Okay, continuing. What's more. It attracts people from all over the world. Exactly. Actually, a few of my friends will be attending Coachella next year, and they're coming from all over the world. It is really world famous. It is, and so, like we said, there's this word "attract," right? And it, it's a verb. It means to draw attention. Or bring awareness to something, okay? And so, as we were saying just now, it's attracting a lot of tourists. So, for example, you could say the Empire State Building attracts millions of tourists every year. Wow! I mean, there are very few things that I would fly specifically for. You know what I mean, but I mean Coachella sounds like a pretty good thing to. Yeah, I don't、experience. know if there's any.、Uh, oh, that's not true. I like MMA. Oh. Which、okay. is like kind of like kind of like fighting. <laughs> so so it, so you would be willing to.、Fly. I would be willing to fly. Okay. And I'm actually considering doing that、Ooh. in the near future. Well, I'm excited to continue on with this topic. Oh. Let's take a break. They go to Coachella to see the amazing artists. They play all kinds of music, such as rock, hip hop, and EDM. People can catch them at the festival's many stages. We're back. Jazz hands. Jazz hands. Wow. Jazz hands. It's very fitting. Yes. Well, okay. We've been talking about. Coachella, and Coachella is a music and art, art.、Yeah. festival that happens in California,、oh, your hometown. Where I'm from, in Indio, California, 
And um, there, it's two weekends back to back. And these are not just regular weekends. These are three day weekends. Yeah. We're talking Friday. six, six days of festival. Yeah. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, times two. Times two. Right. So continuing on, <laughs> they go to Coachella to see the amazing artists. Right. So, and just like you were saying, not just music. It's also art. Well, musicians are artists. Exactly. Right. So what is an artist? Okay. So an artist, right, it's a noun. And it is someone who creates or makes things with their creativity. So it could be art like drawing or painting or sculpting. Or we can talk about musicians, guitar player over there, air guitar. Air guitar. Right. Okay. Uh, musicians or even an actor, right? Someone sure. who performs on the stage or a dancer, okay? So for example, Picasso was a very talented artist. Hmm. That he was. That he was. Right. Okay, continuing. They play all kinds of music, such as rock, hip hop, and EDM. What does EDM stand for? Come on, Shane. It means electronic dance music. Electronic dance music. Yeah. Uh, dum, dum, dum. Right? <laughs> People, stop. People can catch them at the festival's many stages. Ah, so this is talking about what we said, right? It's a lot of different genres or styles of music. So mm -hmm. the stages, they all have different types of music. I'm sure you're going to go to the hip hop one, right? You got to see some hip hop. I like, I like all, I'm not crazy about EDM. Okay. Okay. Well, I, you'll find me on the rock stage. Ah, I love rock. Yeah. yeah. Some classic rock. Woo. So what is a stage? A stage is just a raised area where singers, actors, dancers, <laughs> Very good dancing. Etc. Or these people perform. Mm. That is called a stage. Right. So for example, everyone clapped when the band arrived on the stage. Oh, I love that feeling of really being excited to see your favorite performer. And then they, they slowly walk on stage. Or sometimes if they're very dramatic, they kind of rise. They'll rise up the out stage. of the stage or, or come down oh, that's from so the roof or something. Yeah, oh, that's very good. Um, what was the coolest concert that you ever went to and like, the the stage was a very special and had a lot of like uh, yeah so, so this know. is actually a trick question because the coolest one where the stage was very interesting was the Lumineers okay so they're a folk indie alternative band they started on the stage but then they came into the crowd with us and formed a circle and then we became the stage. Whoa! Yeah. Well, that is a great place to end this episode, but don't fret, do not worry, we still have a part two. There's still a part two, we're gonna keep talking about Coachella. See you next time. Okay. Do you like looking at art and listening to music? If you do, then there's one place to do both. That's Coachella. It's short for the Coachella Valley Music and Arts Festival. Coachella takes place every year in Indio, California. It has live music on back-to-back -back three day weekends in April. What's more, it attracts people from all over the world. They go to Coachella to see the amazing artists. They play all kinds of music such as rock, hip hop and EDM. People can catch them at the festival's many stages. Hi, I'm Tina. We're looking at the key words. First, valley. Valley, valley. The beautiful valley is surrounded by tall mountains. The beautiful valley is the music festival attracts people from all over the country. 
这个音乐节吸引了来自全国各地的人们。Attract 指的是吸引。下一个单词 live live 形容词，现场的，实况的。We saw our favorite band at a live concert. 我们在现场演唱会上看到了我们最喜欢的乐团。最后一个单词 artist。Artist, 名词，艺术家。The artist made a beautiful painting. 艺术家画了一幅美丽的画。接着我们来看重点文法。第一个 ，A is short for B. A 是 B 的简称。Short 在这里指简称的。注意介系词的用法，这里要使用 for。我们来看看这个例句。DIY is short for do it yourself. DIY 是 do it yourself 的简称。下一个文法，复合形容词的用法，以连字号结合两个以上的单字，可以组合成复合形容词。大多情况是放在所修饰的名词之前。课文中的 back to back 指的是接连的 ，three day 指的是三天的，它是由数字加名词构成。注意这里的名词横用单数。我们来看看这两个例句。第一句 ，We had back-to-back -back meetings all day. 我们整天都在连续开会。下一个例句 ，We planned a two-day trip to the mountains. 我们计划了一趟为期两天的山区之旅。最后一个文法 ，such as， 例如，像是，它的后面可以接名词或动名词。我们来看看这个例句。I enjoy outdoor activities such as hiking, cycling, and camping. 我喜欢户外活动，例如徒步旅行、骑脚踏车和露营。Outdoor 指的是户外的 ，cycling 指的是骑脚踏车。以上就是这一课的重点单词跟文法。我们下一课再见，拜拜。Hey. It's Kiwi on the street. I'm Kiki, and I'm Winnie. Oh, by the way, Kiki, I was thinking about that joke you told me, and it just made me LOL all over again. My joke gave you lots of love.、Uh, no, Kiki. LOL is an abbreviation for laugh out loud. Oh, that LOL. Okay, all right. So I guess there are a lot of abbreviations that can mean a lot of different things. Oh, that is true. Let's go practice some. Okay, let's work on our abbreviations. Our first one is TMI.、Uh, too much information. Too much information. Very、yes! good. Too、oh. much information. On the way. On my way. Very good. She corrected herself. So what? On the way. On 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 me. My my way. Yes, you did it. ATM. I usually use it at the moment. Technician machine. Very, very close. Okay, this one's hard. Okay, this is automatic, automatic. teller, teller machine. Machine. Now, we learned what? Let's work on today's abbreviations. The first one is TMI. Too much information. Too much information. For example, you could say. I don't want to hear that. That's too much information. Then we have O M W, on my way, on my way. So you could say, I will be late, but don't worry, I am on my way. And for our last abbreviation, we have A T M. But there are actually two ways in which we can use this. So the first one is automatic teller machine, automatic teller. Machine. So teller being the person at the bank who helps you get the money out, right? So when you're low on cash, you can go to the ATM. So for example, you would say, "I'm really low on cash right now, so let me stop by the automatic teller machine." And then we also have a way of using ATM as, "I'm busy at the moment." ATM at the moment. I'm busy at the moment. So that's all we have for today's abbreviations. Kiwi later.